Good morning, good morning, guys. It's another bright and early day. Well, not all that bright and early. It's already 8.30 Utah time. We're starting the North Kebab Trail, headed down into the Grand Canyon. We're gonna go down to Roaring Springs, which is 4.7 miles and only 3,000 feet. I've done this before with my good buddy Jenkins, but we went way farther down than that. We went down past the Cottonwood Campground in one day. And that's why I've been thinking this is gonna be so hard. That was brutal. That was like 5,000 feet we had to walk back up. Uh, this one's only 3,000, so I'm a lot less concerned now that I found that out. This tunnel is the end of the mules. This is where they turn around. It's always a great moment when you get to this tunnel and you don't have to worry about passing the mules, walking through mule pee and poop. Ugh, it's so much nicer on the trail past this tunnel. I hate the mules. I hate them so bad. So we're right here on the trail. We zigzag all the way down there. Way, way, way down here is the bridge that we cross. And then we keep zigzagging down until we get to Roaring Springs. We've made it to the bridge that you saw from way up there. The squirrel just does not care at all. Oh, now he ran away, of course. So he must care a little bit. Like there may be a helipad down there to get all the stranded people. I think 125 people get taken out of the bottom of the Grand Canyon each year. I think that's their entrance point right there. There's Roaring Spring in all of its glory. This is what the majority of our day looks like. Haley taking pictures. The majority. <laughs> We've made it to the Roaring Springs bathrooms. It took us less than two hours to get down here. So we did 4.7 miles in less than two hours. But the way back up is gonna be very, very slow because it is straight up and somewhere between 3,000 and 3,500 feet, depending on which map you look at. There's a fancy little water thing and a little picnic area for you. If it works. Nope. I've never hiked to Roaring Spring before. When me and Jenkins did this, we just kept going down to Cottonwood Spring. Uh, this little side trail is really not worth it. There's pretty much a bathroom, and that's it. You get to cross the spring, but, I mean, you don't see nothing. You see one more waterfall, but you don't get to go down to it. And it's kind of just a waste of time, honestly. Better just to go to Cottonwood Spring, I'd say. The squirrel's just sitting here watching me. Oh, he got spooked by my voice. Oh, there he goes. Dash is trying to recreate a picture that he took the last time he was here, and he's insane. It's lunchtime for us. We've got some nice shade by this tree, and we got sandwiches. This time, I made them. tried to fill up our waters at the tunnel where there's a little 
faucet. The problem is the faucet doesn't always have pressure and they can't find why the pressure is dropping. So we both filled up maybe maybe half of our water bottles and that should be enough to get us to the top at least. Thank goodness we both still had some left and it wasn't the hottest part of the year. We just made it back to the trailhead. It took us less than five hours to do the whole thing. That's pretty good. Haley did not die, even though she kind of looks like she's gonna. <laughs> I'm alive and ready. <laughs> she's lying to you. <laughs> Look at that face. Anyway, we're gonna head off to the visitor center, get some more water, maybe do another little trail. We'll see. out of the Grand Canyon. We gotta get away from all these people. So these lines, these electric lines, go all the way down to the helipad, which is where we just were. It's crazy to think that we were just down there like three hours ago. It looks so far down from up here. We just took Daph on a little hike. The only one that she can go on. She's a lot happier now, aren't you Daph? There's a buffalo up here. We've got people walking out of their cars taking pictures of it. People stopping in the middle of the road taking pictures of it. Oh, he's a big dude though. He's got his big old horns on. People are crazy for bison. I don't know why. They just want to get hit by cars, I guess. We just got to our free campsite. It's out in the middle of the woods. You can see it right there behind me. And I'm now going to take a 20 minute walk to this RV park that we're kind of near to pay $2.25 to take a five minute shower. Cause I ain't showered in a long time and it needs to happen. Well, this is a nice and cozy little shower here. There's the instructions. Here's the little shower. And the coin operation right there. Whew, I feel a lot better. But boy, five minutes sure goes by fast. It's a nice little RV park there. Uh, it's definitely a sense of community. There's a ton of people all chit-chatting with each other and all that stuff. It's the kind of things you miss when you camp out in the middle of the woods by yourself instead of in a campground. Oh well, we paid zero dollars and they're paying 36 or 19, depending on if they have electric or not. I think I'll stick with not talking to anybody. Josh from the future here, telling you, if you ever go to the Grand Canyon, make sure to go to the North Rim. It's the best. Also, watch out for people who have this mustache. We head off the next morning to go back to Kanab to try to win the lottery again. So make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Until then, find your adventure and go outside.